Hi, this is the Luba 2 AWD Robotic Lawn Mower. It's available on Amazon and I just thought I'd share with you the complete specifications of this robotic lawn mower so that you know what you're getting if you do decide to purchase. So before I go over the specification in more detail of this robotic mower, I just really wanted to very briefly explain the different technologies that are available with regard to robotic mowers. So you have the traditional boundary wire, which you need to lay around your perimeter. You also need to create a perimeter around any no-go zones with that wire as well. So that's your more traditional robotic mower. Then you have robotic mowers that can see where they're going. So they have a camera on uh, and I've tested a couple out like the Works Vision range of robotic mowers and they just solely rely on that camera to see the boundary of your lawn and cut within that boundary. They also rely on the camera to see the obstacles. The third type of navigation is the RTK or the GPS guided robotic mowers, which was the original Luba 1. So with this Luba 2, they have um, a motion have combined two of the technologies. So you're getting GPS guided RTK and you're also getting the vision as well. So if it was to lose signal to the satellite, then the vision can take over the navigation, which is gonna be really interesting to see. So some people had issues where they had lots of trees in their garden, for example, uh, and it would lose that signal to the GPS and then the Luba would just stop. With the Luba 2, the camera will take over the, the navigation until it can pick up its GPS signal again. So the reason for a robotic lawnmower, I think, is clear. You set them up, they're going to cut your lawn, they're going to mulch the lawn, so they're going to be continuously working um, naturally to the schedule that you set, but they are going to be just taking fine pieces of the grass off, not going to collect the, the, the cuttings at all, and that's going to help the condition of your lawn. So when you mulch the cuttings, those fine cuttings go down into the turf, and they provide nutrients and moisture to your lawn and you get a really great looking lawn. The, t the amount of time it's going to save goes without saying. This is just going, once you've got it set up, this is just going to work for you. Um, you can schedule it to even run at night if you want as well. So that's the benefits of a robotic lawnmower and that's the benefits of this Luba. So it has two different types of navigation. It's brought two technologies together, the vision, and the GPS RTK guided. So we're gonna be testing that out a little bit later. So the 5,000 means that this mower is going to be able to mow up to 5,000 square meters. How that differs from the Luba one is that's actually how much it can mow. That's the, the actual green space or the grass or the lawn that it can actually mow. With the Luba one, that 5,000 really meant the total area. So if the Luba had to travel from the front to the back lawn, that whole area of where it's traveled would be included in the 5,000 square meters. But with the Luba 2, that 5,000 means 5,000. So this will mow up to 5,000 square meters and the same with the 10, the, the one and the 3,000. So that's the first thing. The other thing that I've noticed with this mower is that you, with the obstacle avoidance, so you have three different systems in terms of the obstacle avoidance. So you have the ultrasonic sensors, you have the vision module, and you have the front bumper. So the difference, how that differs from the Luba one is you had four ultrasonic sensors. You only have three on this because you now have the, the vision module that is also going to do the obstacle avoidance. You also, on the side of the mower, you don't have any side bumpers on this model because again, you have the sensors pointing out to the sides. So there's no need for the, the bumpers on the side of the Luba 2. And that's differ, different from the Luba 1. Also, what I notice here on the top is that there's been some waterproofing. So the buttons have changed to these flat buttons uh, on this Luba 2, and that's going to help with, uh, to stop any water getting in to the mower and help. Same, I can see on the top here that you have the rain sensor, so that's great to see. So this has the rain sensor. You've got the four wheel drive, the same as with the Luba one, and you've got that great suspension on these wheels. And it's absolutely amazing how uh, well this Luba navigates up hills. Um, you know, this can go up to 80% uh, percent in terms of the slope. I think that's around 35 degrees. And that's a really, really impressive. If you compare that to the Husqvarna's, uh, and other mowers, in, even in the higher range, the higher end ranges, they're not going to be able to navigate those kind of slopes uh, on your lawn. So that's a really plus point with the, with the Luba. 
Another difference that I noticed with the Luba 2 over the Luba, Luba 1 is the omnidirectional wheels, as you can see here. So my Luba 1 was an early Luba 1. I know they did put the omnidirectional wheels on the later versions of the Luba 1, but mine didn't. So that's really great to see. And that just helps when, the, when this mower is turning on the spot, it helps to reduce the wear and tear on the lawn. So it's great to see that as standard on the Luba 2. Also in terms, so I talked a little bit about this 5,000. So this is a 5,000 square meter. This will mow up to, which is 1.25 acres. And that varies naturally across the range of the Luba 2 mowers. In terms of zones, this will cut up to 30 zones. And that's a big improvement over the Luba 1, the AWD 5000 Luba 1. So it's 30 zones with this model, and naturally that goes down with the 1000 and the, two, uh, 1000 and the 3000, and it goes up with the 10,000. Another difference with the Luba 2 over the Luba 1 is the fact that this is 4G. This has a 4G SIM card slot on the back, which you can insert, and that really makes this much more versatile in terms of the range. So as I mentioned earlier, the RTK station has had a massive overhaul in terms of its waterproofing. It's now IPX7, but also this is Wi-Fi as well. So this will connect to Wi-Fi and in conjunction with the, the mower being on the 4G, that will extend the range up to five kilometers and that's the, the standard range. So if you don't have th this connected to Wi-Fi or you don't have the 4G in the mower, you're going to get the same 150 meter range that you had with the Luba 1. Um, in terms of mowing time with the AWD 5000, well actually it's across the whole range uh, of Luba 2 mowers, it's 180 minutes. So with the battery in the Luba 2, you're gonna get 180 minutes of mowing time before it needs to go back and recharge. Another enhancement and another feature of the Luba 2 is the ability to use your home assistant to control the mower. So that will be the, the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home Assistant as well. That hasn't actually been released yet as of June 2024. That is coming out next month in July 2024, so I won't be able to demonstrate that. Another feature that's coming out in July 2024 is the ability for the mower to print on your lawn. Yes, you heard me right. This mower is going to be capable of drawing patterns on your lawn, logos, for example, letters, uh, and that's gonna be, be released next month. And that's gonna be really exciting to see that, which is great if you have a company and you want your company logo on the lawn or something like that, that's gonna be really, really interesting to see how well that works. And I think that's gonna be a combination of mowing the lawn down lower in certain places and then in certain places keeping the lawn that little bit higher and that's going to give you the design on your lawn so amazing stuff to come and Momotion are always improving their mowers yes there have been some issues with the the firmware updates and the software updates but they are really on it they're in the news groups in the user groups they're listening to what people are saying and they're they're, they're correcting any issues. I mean, these are complex machines, even the Husqvarna's, uh, the Steger's, they're all having teething problems. They're all having issues. This is new technology as of last year. And, you know, naturally you're going to get teething problems. They can't predict every single type of lawn setup, but they are actively improving the app. They're actively improving the firmware of the mower and adding new features to the mower as well as you go on. And they're still supporting the Luba one as well. So that's really great to see from Momotion. In terms of cutting heights with the Luba two, the standard version of the mower will go down to one inch and up to 2.7 inches. With the H version of this robotic mower, it will go from 2.2 inches up to four inches. So that's the H version, which is specifically designed for uh, grasses in the US and in Canada. In terms of adjusting the height, so the works robotic mower I have on my front lawn, I have to adjust the height with a dial actually on the mower itself, but you don't need to do that with the Luba. It's all done through the app. And what's really nice feature with this Luba is you can have different zones at different heights. So you may want your front lawn to be slightly higher than your rear lawn, uh, this Luba will do that. And the great thing as well, when this Luba is moving between zones or between lawns, the, the deck raises up, so it's not going to be 
catching anything on your path. So for example, I'm going to have the luber cut my rear lawn here. It's then going to go up the path here, come down the path, go down the side of the house, go out to the front lawn, across another path, and then onto the front lawn and cut it. So as it's traveling down between the back and the front lawn, that deck will raise up to its maximum height to avoid any of the blades touching the path, which is a great feature. And we'll be having a look at that a little bit later. So let's have a look under the deck of the Luba Robotic Lawn Mower. So I'm just gonna put some material there just to, so I don't scratch the side of the mower. I'm just gonna tip it up. So as you can see, there's two cutting discs here, each with four blades on each. Now the width of this deck is 15.7 inches or 40 centimeters. And that's a really good width for a robotic lawn mower. So you can see there that the blades don't go right to the edge. However, the luber can cut right to the edge. So what it will do is it will, and you can configure this through the app, you can make it go around the edge of your lawn, cutting the edge multiple times. And each time it will edge closer and closer to the boundary. So we'll be testing that out a little bit later on my lawn just to see how well it does cut to the edge. But that's pretty much it underneath the deck of the mower. So that's the specification of this Luba 2 AWD robotic lawnmower. I hope you found that useful.